Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to motion track objects in Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. Okay, now in Premiere Pro I've got my clip onto the timeline and here the object I'll be tracking will be the basketball ball. And to do that first I'll go to the effects control panel and from there I'll go to motion and down to scale where I'll scale it up a lot. Like I mean a lot. Then the next thing I'll do is go down to effects and type down transform go down and under distort i'll grab the transform and drop it over the clip onto the timeline and since we have applied this effect the next thing i will do is go to the program monitor and as you can see under the program monitor we got all these icons and the two icons we need is the show guides which we can enable and then the rulers which we enable as well but if you can't see them on your workspace you can go down to this button the plus button and click on it and from here you can drag them down and click on ok so for example with the guides you can just go over here and drag line onto the program monitor vertically and then horizontally you can do the same by going up and drag it down and if you want to get rid of them just grab it and drag it to the left or to the right or down but in my case i'll use two lines which will create like cross like that and now the next thing I will do is go to transform and from position I will reposition it in a way that this cross will be somewhere at the middle of the ball. And once I've done this I will click onto the toggle animation button to create a keyframe. So basically what we're doing with these lines is finding the center or the part we want to concentrate in the object and tracking the motion of this object. And to do that we have to go frame by frame which takes a lot of time so for example i'm gonna move one frame forward by hitting the right arrow of the keyboard and then as you can see the ball didn't move much so i'm gonna go one more frame forward and now has moved and what i'll do i will reposition the ball again so we can follow the center of it again i'm gonna move one frame forward then reposition it again and then the same thing so this will take a while and when i'm done with it i'll come back and show you the final result Oh my days, after exhausting tracking of 5 seconds clip, I'm done. And I will show you the final result now. But please, Robbie, find a fine solution to this thing. Please, because it's exhausting. I can't believe how long it takes to create this animation. And if it's a 20 second clip or 1 minute clip and you need to do this, wow, I'm retiring. And there is no easy way to do this. That is the only way you can do this in Premiere Pro. I don't think there is another way of doing it. So let's see the final result. But if you want to add a little bit of motion blur, what you can do is go down to use composition, shutter angle in the transform effect, just uncheck it and change the shutter angle to let's say 180 boom and let me just disable the rulers and the guides and play it from the beginning so let's play it and see what we've done and there you have it guys that's how you can motion track objects in premiere pro as you can see it's easy to do it but it's super boring and it takes time also, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.